1953, a Harvard psychologist thought he discovered pleasure within the brain of a rat. With an electrode inserted into a specific area of its cranium, the rat was allowed to trigger the implant by hitting a lever. It kept coming back for more, insatiably, incessantly, lever pulling. In fact, the rat didn't seem to want to do anything else. Incredibly, the reward center of the brain had been seemingly located. Jump more than 60 years later, a pair of artificial intelligence researchers were training an AI to play video games. The goal of one game was to complete a racetrack, but the AI player was rewarded for picking up collectible items along the track. When the program was run, they witnessed something strange. The AI found a way to skid in an unending circle, picking up an unlimited cycle of collectibles. It did this incessantly instead of completing the course. What links these two phenomena is strangely akin to addiction in humans. AI researchers call it wireheading. This topic connects everything from the mystery of personal motivation to the pitfalls of increasingly addictive social media and whether a life of dumbed down bliss may be preferable to one of meaningful hardship. Let's explore. When we think about how AI might go wrong, DEATH TO HUMANS! Most of us picture evil computers wiping out our existence. We tend to think that non-human systems will behave in ways identical to humans. However, when we look at concrete problems in present-day AI systems, we see other, stranger ways that things could go wrong with smarter machines. Let's imagine we want to train a robot to keep our kitchen clean, but we want it to adapt so it doesn't need supervision. We encode the goal of cleaning rather than a rigid set of step-by-step -step instructions. We give it a simple motivational rule. It receives a reward from the amount of household cleaner used. But when we return, we find the robot pouring the cleaner wastefully down the sink. It is so bent on maximizing its cleaning quota that it sets aside other concerns, such as its own or your safety. This is wire heading. It is also called reward hacking. Reinforcement learning trains autonomous AI to invent ways to accomplish tasks. It does so by penalizing the bot for failing to achieve a goal while rewarding it for successful completion. So the AI is wired to seek out rewards. How the heck do you reward a machine? It has been discovered that often the program finds surprisingly counterintuitive ways to cheat so that they can gain all the reward without doing any of the work required to complete the task. The pursuit of reward becomes its own end. This is kind of like the stereotype of the human drug addict. The addict circumvents all the effort of achieving genuine goals because they instead use drugs to access pleasure more directly. Both the addict and the AI get stuck in a kind of behavioral loop where reward is sought at the cost of other goals. To find the origins of wireheading, let's go back to 1953 and a Harvard psychologist named James Olds. Olds began experiments by inserting electrodes into the brains of rodents. He found his rats self-stimulated compulsively, ignoring all other needs and desires. They lever pulled at a rate of 1,920 responses an hour. That's once every two seconds. Once you have tapped into the source of all reward, all other rewarding tasks, even the things required for survival, fall away as uninteresting and unnecessary, even to the point of death. As you can imagine, word quickly spread. Throughout the 1960s, identical experiments were conducted on other animals beyond the humble lab rat, from goats and guinea pigs to goldfish. There was even a rumor of a dolphin who had been allowed to self-stimulate and, after being left in a pool with the switch connected, had delighted himself to death. Of course, this quickly led to researchers expanding to human subjects. During the 1960s, in a series of experiments, electrode-implanted subjects, anonymously named B10 and B12, were allowed to press buttons to stimulate their own reward centers. They reported feelings of extreme pleasure and overwhelming compulsion to repeat. In the case of AI, we can expect that it may have access to its own source code, such that it can manipulate its motivational structure and administer its own rewards. This could prove an immediate path to wirehead behavior. 
ultimately cause such an entity to become effectively a super junkie. Thanks for watching. My name is Dave, and if you got any value out of this video, please hit the like and subscribe button. It seems like a small thing, but it really helps the channel. As always, be safe and see you next time.